Can type 2 diabetes turn into type 1? That's a great question because there is such a thing as a possible misdiagnosis, which can happen. So there's type 2 diabetes, but there's also a diabetes called type 1 and a half, referred to LADA, L-A-D-A, which is latent onset diabetes of adults. And what happens is it's a it's similar, one and a half is similar to type one, but it happens after age 30. Um, and it's a slower onset. And oftentimes uh, people, when they get diagnosed, they, the doctor automatically thinks that it is type two, treats them in that way, gives oral medication, sends them to a dietitian, and yet numbers continue to go up. And I've, I've definitely had several clients in the past who were trying to exercise their way out of this diagnosis. They didn't know they had one and a half, they thought they had type two, and they just couldn't figure out why blood glucose wasn't coming down. So that's something that can be found out with doing a C-peptide test. However, if it's just type two diabetes and you know for sure this is the diagnosis, then it will not turn into type one whatsoever. However, though there's another caveat here because sometimes when someone's had type two diabetes for a long period of time, Perhaps they've been on medications, uh, the category is called sulfonylurea. That category of medications actually causes the pancreas to put out more and more and more insulin. And so it's kind of a, a pusher. It's like, it's, like a, it's like a bully. It's bullying the pancreas to put out more insulin. And when it does that, over time, the beta cells in the pancreas that make insulin start to actually wear out. And so as they wear out, now somebody with type two doesn't make as much insulin as they used to. And over time, depending on how long they were on that type of medication or how long they went without being diagnosed, because a lot of times people aren't diagnosed um, at an early stage, they've gone a long period of time and the body's, you know, the body really want the body loves you, <laughs> is what I'm gonna <laughs> say. The body absolutely loves you and it's doing everything it can to protect you. And so the pancreas, with, you know, without medication, if, you, if you'd had diabetes for a long time and, and just didn't know it, the pancreas has been working overtime this whole time. The, those beta cells have been just putting out insulin, 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 insulin. So sometimes somebody with type two may have to go on insulin. It is not the end of the world. It's still very manageable. And when eating this way, it gets even more manageable. And we find that the insulin needs actually decrease. Yeah, this but, means, but type two does not turn into type one. <laughs> yes. So that all makes perfect sense. And that's an important distinction we made in our book, which is that you can have insulin dependent type two diabetes and it's not the end of the world. Just like you said, you use the proper medication. Your goal at that point as an insulin dependent type two is to inject the, an additional quantity of insulin in addition to what you're already producing to make the, what you're injecting to, plus what you're producing to add up to a physiologically normal amount of insulin that you would have normally secreted. And that's totally okay. Insulin's not the enemy. Insulin's not bad. Injecting insulin is not gonna make you gain weight in that situation. It's about using the appropriate amount. 